today we're in Mudaiga, Nairobi County, and this is going to be a very interesting video. We're in Mudaiga, Nairobi County, and this is going to be a very interesting video. You want to know why? It's because in this video, I'll be taking you step by step in detail of exactly what we're going to have in this particular project. Now, I'll be also explaining just how much construction there is when it comes to interior design. So if you're interested in learning more about this ongoing project, join me. So this is the main entryway into the house. It's a very important area because it's basically the introduction into your house. On this side, we have the fundis getting rid of the floor tiles. This space is going to go through a major, major transformation because you can see there's a lot of columns here, but it doesn't really have a lot of harmony. So our goal is going to be find a way to make them more symmetrical and also more beautiful. As you can see, the front face of the house is taking shape beautifully. Let's take a closer look. So from here, you can see just how much molding work has been done with the amount of detail. You can see we managed to reshape the columns, making them feel so much more grand. And we've added this very striking detail all throughout that makes this place stand out so much and it feels like such a warm and welcoming entrance. So with all the columns that you can see in this section, they were initially very plain and didn't have much going on. So the simple reshaping and the addition of the details to the base and to the top makes them feel so much more elegant. In this space right above me, it's quite empty. There's a small balcony area that is going to be extended all the way out and will include a glass partition all around, which will make it feel very, very modern. Let's head into the house and have a closer look. As soon 
as you walk into the main entrance, you're met by this solid wall. It's almost so unwelcoming that you immediately want to turn around and leave. So our goal is to make it feel more welcoming by doing slight construction. Now part of that construction is going to be to this wall. We're going to recess it from an area from here to about here to create room for a display area. In the center, we'll have a mirror which will reflect light and make the space much brighter and also feel so much bigger because you may have noticed the space is quite small. On either side of the mirror, we're going to include floating shelves. The reason we chose to have floating shelves instead of a console, which we would usually put in the space, is because a console will take up way too much space and will do the opposite of what we're trying to achieve with the mirror. So having floating shelves on the wall serve the same purpose of displaying your items without taking up as much space. You may notice that there's this arc that leads from the entryway into the living room. Now we could see the vision of the client in having this arc installed, but the execution was absolutely not done in the right way. And that's why it is important to include an interior designer when you're having your home constructed. Now, we know we want to keep this in place. So what we're going to do is make it more aesthetically pleasing as well as finding a shape that will make this space feel more symmetrical and be more streamlined. This is the living area. The first thing we knew we had to do was to raise the ceiling because when we initially came here, it came too far down and a low ceiling always makes a room feel way too small. As you can also see, it's separated into two different sections. The section I'm currently standing on will serve as the main TV area. On this wall, we'll have the TV up above and below it, we're going to install a fireplace. From the living area leading into the dining, we have this opening here, which we don't want to completely close off. We actually want to transform it into a display where you can still see into the dining. There is many interesting ways that you can separate rooms without using a solid wall that will really enclose your space and make it look small. So, we're going to break down this entire wall and what's going to take this up is going to be a cabinet. So I had mentioned before that on the side of the dining, we're going to have cabinetry. That unit is also going to serve the kitchen side. That's a very, very smart use of space, creating one thing that serves two rooms. At Fine Urban Interiors, we like to have our fundis doing all their work on site. That means bringing all their materials to site so that they're able to work better. Now today we're here with Collins, who is one of the fundis who does woodwork for us and is going to explain to us whether that's a good thing or maybe even a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Then kuna vitu nikitengeneza kwa workshop nikikuja kuingiza kwa nyumba inaweza kuwa inaweza kataa kuingia zingine ni kubwa kushinda mlango. Mm. Then ya pili ya tatu ni penye natengeneza penye naweka hizo vitu zangu zina inaingiana vizuri vile nataka. Acha mimi naona vinyo umesema ni kweli kwa sababu hata nikikuja site naona kila kitu yenye imejengwa inatoshea perfect. Mm. And on a client, I'm going to say, oh, 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 I'm going to
So when they were designing this home and installing this door, they did not consider just how much inconvenience it would cost in the way that it opened. So we're going to have to take this and make it open the other way around so that it's not taking up too much room in the kitchen. Because over here, we want to have an inbuilt fridge to maximize on space. Every element that we're choosing to add into this kitchen is with that aspect of creating as much space as possible. So having an inbuilt fridge really takes away the bulk of having a lone standing fridge. Now right next to it, we have this lovely pantry that we think takes up just enough space so that we'll be left alone, but we might do slight changes to the shelving to make it hold more things. This is a room that serves several purposes. It's supposed to function as the bar area, as well as the family room and like a lounge area where they could all sit down and just relax. So in order to achieve that, we took away the bar counter that was here. It actually went from here and went all the way around and took this corner and ended up here. So we have taken it down and in its place, we're going to have a centralized bar counter that's going to go from about here all the way to somewhere about here. Now you don't want the view to be boring or plain. There was an attempt to add in shelving here, which was practical, but was not very aesthetically pleasing. So what we've done is gotten rid of all of that and we're going to take this whole wall and make it a display slash storage area. So let's head up so I can show you what we have planned for upstairs. So for this project, everything is custom made. We did not buy anything and install because we wanted to make sure that everything was made from scratch. And that's the exact same thing that we're doing with this grill for the staircase. Now I'm here with Mr. Kennedy, who's going to tell us a bit more about that process. Professor Kennedy. It's So much for me, Lizzie. Kazi kama hii, ukisha kwa design, unanzia wapi? Okay, ni kianza hii. Natafta lebo, secret lebo kama hii. Una dunga masimo, ya wall pass. Then unanza kuset hii flat. Okay, ukisanza hii flat, unangalia size ya staircase. Ile ni nafaikwe 1 meter kutoka chini mpaka mali nafikia. Ndiyo unanza kufanya framing, unaset hii flat, na make sure iko stable. Unachukua drill na drill up chini. Na ukisaweka frame kama hii vizuri, uone kama iko stable. Ndiyo sasa unaenda kuleta ile maua ulipewa na client. Uh, sir, how many projects? Do you want to know how many projects are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to do a design. I'm going to do what I'm doing. I'm going to do the design. I'm going to do the design. Then I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So your process, your test. Nanana ni kazi ngumu ni easier kwa customize ama ni easier kwenda kuinua na kuweka. Mmm sasa zingine unaweza nunua na attack kama hiyo. Sasa mpaka utengeneze juu kama kuna makosa unarekebi. Unarekebi. Unarekebisha juu kenda kununua uwezi rekebisha. Sasa kicho mwisho kabisa ndio umalize ndio ikae smart kabisa. Ni what's the last thing unafanya kwa hii? Okay. Hii tunapaka rangi. Sasa rangi ndio kitu ya mwisho kabisa. So kama umemake sure kila kitu iko sawa, maua ni match, kitu ya mwisho kabisa ni the paint work. Yes. Sawa. Sasa sana. Asante. Now at the very top of the staircase, we have yet another solid wall similar to the one we saw downstairs in the entrance. It gives the exact same effect here. It's kind of interesting how a simple wall design can really affect how you view a space and this one screams stop. So what we're going to do with this wall 
is completely get rid of this design and add in a abstract feel to it so that it just feels a bit more exciting when you're walking upstairs. We're also going to make it a space that is very useful by adding in laundry bins because it's right at the center of all the bedrooms so everybody can have their laundry right in the center. Boa. Experience yangu ni kuwa mzuri na ngangana tuna kazi kazi yenyewe mi sio ni mbaya licha kwamba kuna zile challenges tunapitia lakini kazi imekuwa mzuri challenges kazi ya fainaba ni ni experience ya juu inakuwa uifanye ukiwa na ukiwa na uhakika na chenye unafanya so ni lazima it perfect lazima ikuwe perfect yenye inakubalika na kampuni haya na na kazi na Hii ndio last design. Hii ndio last design. Lakini siwezi sema ni last design mpaka mwenyewe pia akuje. Kampuni yenyewe lazima ithibitishe kwamba imetokea venye inafaa. Au ni lazima ifile standard. Naweza hata iweka saa hii hivi lakini akikuja tena baadaye aione haijamuingia ni lazima itabidi tutoe. Mpaka ifike ile level yenye tunataka. Haya. Nashukuru. Amna shida. Nimeshukuru. Asante. This is the master bathroom want to make the most out of this bathroom and really make it an experience when our client walks in here. As you can see, we've completely taken everything down. The walls are bare, the floors are bare, the ceiling is bare because we want it to really be our work from top to bottom. So we're going to do tile work in here, we're going to have gypsum design in here, we're going to have wall tiles in here as well. We also want to include a shower cubic right next to it, which will presumably go somewhere in this area. And on this blank wall over here, if the client allows us to do it, we're going to include a TV as a form of entertainment when they're spending their time in the bathroom. Now on this wall over here, we're going to utilize it and add a custom vanity that's going to take up this space and have a double sink as always for maximum convenience and also have mirrors on the wall because you cannot have an empty wall on top of your sink. You need to be able to see what you're doing in your sink. As you can see, we have a very busy site here in Muzaiga. It's been very chaotic in there. There's a lot of fundis and a lot of work going on. But I hope that you were able to get a vision of what we're going for for this particular project. But in order to keep up with the progress, do follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube at Fine Urban Interiors. My name is Cynthia Shoya from Fine Urban Interiors and catch you on the next one.